This is the Italian food adventure. Come il nostro panino. Una cosa fina. In this video, I'm gonna embrace the Italian adventure starting from Piedmont region, right on the Orta Lake. I will cook and taste authentic Italian street food, grab a bite at a restaurant with a mind-blowing view, and even swim 7.7 kilometers in an open water swimming tournament, Ocean Man, in beautiful Lago da Orta. It's a new adventure each and every day. Yeah, what we doing? Time to try and create in another city. Yeah, we about to take off the digital nomad. And you know what he about. This is the Beatle. Hey, the Beatle channel. It's the Beatle. All right, I got something to say. Do you know how lucky I am today? Here in Emenia, a great event will be held. I didn't know that it's gonna happen, but street food market, I even didn't know that it's gonna be here. Lucky me. And lucky you, fish, meat, cheese from all over the Italy. Oh my God, I love making food adventures. Let's officially start our first Italian food adventure. Let's get it. This time, my food adventure began with some unreasonably super expensive street food in Bergamo airport. As an excuse, I must say, I was starving. Very good, but don't buy in the airport because it like, costs a lot. No more excuses. We rent an electric car and went from Bergamo to Orta Lake. And in the morning I just could not believe my eyes. Well, you can watch this beauty and you'll get what I'm talking about. The Lake Orta, also known as Lago d'Orta, is located in Piedmont region of northern Italy. The lake is surrounded by the towns of Orta San Giulio, Omenia, and Bella. Orta is known for its picturesque beauty, charming villages and the island of San Giulio, located in the middle of the lake. Amazing vibe, beautiful lake, fabulous scenery. The water is crystal clear, so peaceful, it's like a fairy tale, really. If you want to travel cheap and bright like me, get my travel hacking course by clicking the link in the description. Now is the best time to buy my course, because I'm keeping the best price on it right now. So, these guys represent the Calabrian cuisine and we're gonna try to cook it and to try it. We have to make sure it's fried from all the sides, right? Yes, all the sides. Calabria is a region located in the southern Italy occupying the toe of the Italian peninsula. We should be fast, in order all the guests are happy. Calabrian cuisine is known for its simple yet bold flavors. It features locally sourced ingredients such as chili peppers, olive oil, tomatoes, and various herbs. Provola, it's like a, which, which kind of cheese is this? Sheep or cow? Uh, cow. Cow, okay. Should we put it in here? Okay. Uh, really? Yeah. Picante. So we also fry in some potato with uh, pepperoni and some eggplant with uh, tomatoes. We will put all of it in sandwich. Come, come il nostro panino. Una cosa fina. We're gonna move forward. Subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. Yeah, hey. the Beetle channel. Let's go. Yes, we in Italy, but we're gonna try Indian cuisine with friends and Perminda. Perminda. We're gonna try pakora, samosa, and a toast. Is it? Yeah. No problem. So we take uh, samosa. samosa. Do Italian people love uh, Indian cuisine? Yes, yes. It, it smells tasty already. Basically, you like uh, going for different spots. You're a food adventurer like me. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Guys, look at this. The peas, the sauce, and potatoes. If you're gonna eat all these three kinds of street food, you will be full, believe me. Thank you, guys. It was a ple my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Omenia has ancient origins, dating back to Roman times. Over the centuries, it has been ruled by various powers, including the Visconti and Borromeo families. Omenia developed as an industrial center during the 19th and 20th centuries, particularly known for its production of household appliances and textiles. This is the cuisine of Puglia. 
ricetta di patate, pollo. The spot which sells the Puglia street food and we're gonna try uh, mozzarelline and uh, croquettes with potatoes. E pane in carrozza con la mozzarella. Okay, formaggio. Yeah. Deep fried. Thank you. This is the thing with mozzarella. It is so crispy outside. It will be great with beer. And let's try them potato croquettes. Mmm, so tender inside. Cheese and potatoes. It's great. Ulea's cuisine is characterized by simple and flavorful dishes. It is known for its fresh seafood, homemade pasta, delicious cheeses like burrata and mozzarella. Come si chiama? Uh, pecorino. Mm. Very aromatic, very gentle. Salami di cervo. Mmm, bellissimo. A very delicious salami. Polpa di cervo, so another kind of meat. I think I'm gonna love it. Mm -hmm. This is the best. I'm gonna buy it, guys. Comprar, comprar. Uh, grazie. Grazie a te. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go. This is the village that is called Baveno and I would like to tell you about my first experience on electro car. Uh, it can go 400 kilometers on one battery, big space for your baggage. If you have the chance to drive this car, the Polestar, do it, do it guys. It's neither a brand deal or sponsorship. It's just my recommendation to you. I'm just sharing my experience. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Even Ocean Man knows that I'm on a food adventure and I'm gonna cook. And my number is 451. Several times a year, I take part in Ocean Man tournaments all over the world. Once, I even swam across the Bosphorus Channel and got the title of Intercontinental Swimmer. I love open water swimming. That's one of the many reasons I've come to Italy. But this time was a challenging race for me. Edward. For some reason, I swam 2.2 kilometers more than I was supposed to. And still, I can't find the real reason of me doing so. It was really hard to get to the finish, though my pace was fine almost till the end of the distance. Anyway, I managed to swim this route and got the medal. Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go! I'm so tired after 8 kilometers. This is another location, right near the island. The restaurant is called Venus. Great atmosphere perfect place to have dinner guys here's what we ordered Igor has uh, beef tartar it's perfect it's uh, a beef calamari in Italian this is the tortelli italiana calamari but with feta cheese and tomatoes mm -hmm. it's pretty meaty because it's uh, osobuco inside right mm. I like the stuffing Great. Give us a rating. It's very fresh and very tasty. It's nine. Nine out of ten. So what about me? Good. Very tasty. The prices are pretty high here because of the scenery, because of the uh, location and because it's like the touristic place. I cannot uh, put ten. So guys, I would rate this restaurant, um, I guess, eight out of ten. For the best music and sound effects in my content, I use Epidemic Sound. Sign up for a 30-day free trial here. You will get unlimited downloads of over 40,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. Start using Epidemic Sound now by clicking my referral link below and get 30 days free trial from the Beatles channel. Salera 16 right near the Lago da Horta and uh, we ordered several kinds of pizzas and uh, Black Angus burger and uh, seafood Caesar. Igor, couple of words. You have a margarita, right? So, it's good? Better this time? It's very good. Hot? Yulia, what about the burger? It's good? Not so much. <laughs> okay. So, Caesar salad. 
Frankly speaking, Beatles, this place was not a big deal at all. The pizzas were nothing special. The salad is okay and the burger was just fine. The prices are way too high because of that touristic location. Therefore, I rate this place as 5 out of 10. Thank you.